Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I want to create a minimalist neutral look because I think that neutrals are fantastic and often underrated. They usually look a bit dull in the palette, but they just look so stunning and so sophisticated and flattering on the face. I thought we could do something a little bit minimalistic. I'm going to try to keep this as short as possible product wise. I may have some suggestions from different categories, but this is something that you could recreate at home in under 10 minutes if you're not explaining it to your friends. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. The palette that I'm using here is from Clé de Peau, and this is the shade number five, Coral Reef. This has no coral in it whatsoever. It's actually a beautiful neutral palette. And I think when the Clé de Peau eyeshadows came out, there was like the reformulation here. There was a lot of fervor, but it sort of died down a little bit. And I think that this is really underrated, especially this one here. Again, this just looks really nice and neutral in the palette. And these are the shades here. So there is one primer shade. This is the one you apply all over the lid and then you go into the other ones and they created such a beautiful, light, sophisticated harmony. If you're in the market for a really pretty neutral palette, this is the one that I would suggest. And I'm going to pair this with a Victoria Beckham eyeliner. This is the shade Coco. This glides like a dream. Look at that. It's just, it's so opaque, so creamy, so buttery. And because it's a really dark brown, it's going to add definition and richness to the look without being too harsh. So it's going to just be a really beautiful, neutral look. So to start off with, I'm going into that primer shade, this here, this one, all the products that I'm using, the makeup brushes, those are listed in the description box. So I'm going into this Refer 02 Max, and I'm just going to go in pretty liberally here. Just sort of pack it on the lid and apply it liberally. I did also prime my eyes with the Hourglass eyeshadow primer. You may think that's a bit overkill. I don't. I have very oily hooded eyes. So even though that this is technically a primer shade, it's going to just help pop the other colors a bit more, It'll make them look a little bit more saturated. I like the Hourglass one at first because it just it just makes everything last all day. Now I'm going into my Victoria Beckham eyeliner here and I'm going to tight line. So that's going into the top water line like this. And then I will also add some on the top. And I forgot to mention, they come with these sponge tip applicators. So I'm going to smudge this out here in a second. And I'm just flicking out a little bit on the side here using that same sponge tip from before. Taking an Angie Hot and Flashy A504, I'm going to go into this deep color here. And I love that these all have different finishes. This is like a nice rich brown, but it has a bit of satin. And I'm just knocking off a little bit of the excess inside here. And I'm going to sweep this over top of the eyeliner. And this is going to just create a soft blur. It's going to be a little bit smoky, but it's going to be a little bit lighter. It's not going to be quite as dark as if we used a black. I'm using this brush in particular because it is very small and tapered, but it's also very fluffy. So it's distributing this darker, rich brown in a very light-handed way. I could go in with a sort of pencil brush like this, but this is going to be a lot more sharp and it's going to create a, a deeper, darker look. And I want something a little bit lighter. Switching to a Refer 02 Mini, I'm going into this lighter color here. And this is another satiny one. It's going to add a little bit of lightness. I'm just going to pass that over top. I'm sort of just going lightly, like I'm not packing it on. I'm just sweeping it over everything. And this is going to just sort of create 
a very light gradient. You're not going to be able to pinpoint, aha, that was liner, that was the dark shadow, that's the lighter shadow. It's really just creating this soft, light, slightly smoky, neutral eye look. I think this is definitely appropriate for every day. You could wear this at work if you wanted to. Not everyone is inclined to eyeshadow at work, I know, but you could wear something like this because it's just very softly and lightly blending together. Taking a clean, small, fluffy brush, this is the Ruffer 13, going into this color here. This is more of a matte color, and I'm just going to pass it in the crease. It is light, but it adds a little bit of definition. So it's just going to blend these out and connect a little bit of that flick here in the corner. with the rest of the eye look here. I have a little bit of fallout and it is darker, so I'm just picking up a little bit of eye cream here on a Q-tip and I'm going to clean this up. And I can also take this as an opportunity to sort of sharpen this look over here. Now go into your favorite black mascara. I used my Valentino one, not my favorite, but a black mascara nonetheless. If you have a brown one, like a really dark brown one, that seems to be a trend this season, dark brown mascara. I haven't tried that yet, but I might give it a go. This could work with this look here. Let's move on to the complexion. I'm going into my Chanel Complexion Touch. This is the shade B40. I just really like this. It's a skin tint, it's lightweight, it covers a little bit. It never makes me look cakey or heavy and I'm using a BK Beauty round brush. If you want to keep this minimal, you could use maybe a primer. Technically, sometimes I do use this as a primer before a heavier foundation. So a skin tint, a skin blurring product, but honestly, whenever I make these videos, take whatever resonates with you and then adapt it to your own taste. You may want a heavier duty foundation. In my mind, this sort of minimalist, neutral look could be good for travel, so I'm trying to think of like smaller items, like a smaller list of items, and also this travels so well because it's very compact, very sleek. I have traveled with this eyeshadow palette. I took this with me last fall when I went to the UK for three weeks. It was fantastic because, yeah, it doesn't look super thrilling, but it always looked so pretty. I mean, this looks just really pretty on the eyes. It always just looks like I showered and I'm awake and refreshed, which is what you want. I'm going into my Armani concealer, shade 5.5. If you're feeling a very light skin day, like no makeup makeup, you could also just use this to spot conceal and maybe just do a little bit of powder if you want to compress your makeup kit even more. And this is the Prada Beauty concealer brush here. Focusing the darker color out here and just gently sweeping it out enhances that sort of cat eye flick without necessarily going into a winged liner. You could do a little winged liner here if you want, but just this eyeshadow shape that we created sort of emphasizes that without having to do anything else, which is always fun. So for the next step, the cheek color, etc., I would recommend some sort of palette that has multiple items. My, one of my favorite here is from Dior and it's the contour and highlighter. I have the shade 100. This is a beautiful, soft, natural sculpting shade with a highlighter. Very beautiful. It, uh, someone in the comments said I looked like a Victoria's Secret Angel. I will take that, thank you. Very pretty, as you can see, I adore this. Since I purchased it, I've almost I've used it every single day almost, except for one or two occasions. I've dug into it so much. So this would be an excellent option. Or I have this one here from Chanel. This is the Le Beige um, highlighter, blush, and bronzer. This is three in one, and so for this context today i'm going to use this one here because it is multi-purpose so we have everything and you could also use this on the eyes as well so i'm going to dive into this one this is the shade medium rose so what i like to do 
is I'm going into a contour brush. This is the Refer 04. And I'm going to mix the highlighter and bronzer colors together. I like to just swirl them like that, knock off a little bit of excess, and then just apply. I find that both of those colors mixed together creates just the most beautiful effect where it's a little bit of bronzer, a little bit of that natural glow, but it doesn't look too heavy. And that pink blush is really lovely and it's really going to pair nicely with this eye look here because it is so neutral we can go into any blush shade that we want really and last but not least let's go into this soft pink blush calling it rose gold is so accurate because it really is just like a perfect rose gold I think that the names of these highlighter bronzer palettes were a bit confusing but from what I understand, it really comes down to the blush shade and it's a soft pink with a little bit of gold and it pairs really nicely in a subtle way with the eyeshadow. For the lip color, I'm going to use this Prada Beauty shade B101. It's the type of lip color that I keep reachable on my desk here if I can't quite think of what to pair or match with something. I often go into this one here because it's pink but nude and my lip but butter and just matches really well with so many looks. All right, I think this about does it for the minimalist neutral makeup look. Please sound off in the comments below and let me know what you think of today's makeup look. Maybe in honor of the neutrals, leave a little brown heart emoji. I think that's the only slightly neutral one that I can think of. So leave a little brown heart. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, I highly recommend that you do so because I like to use and reuse a lot of new and old collections. I mix them together. I will give you lots of inspiration at home on how to use up what you currently have without necessarily having to run out and buy everything new. But in order to complete the look, I want to add a fragrance. I'm going to go into one of my old favorites, the Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. This is the Eau de Toilette. I love this because it's a twistable one. It's great for travel. You could put this in a travel bag or, you know, pack it for a carry-on, checked bag, whatever you want. I'm just going to spritz some of this. And I just love the Eau de Toilette version of Mademoiselle. I find that the Eau de Parfum has too much patchouli. I like patchouli, but it doesn't always like me. Whereas the Eau de Toilette has more lychee and it's just a little bit lighter and fruitier. So that's today's look. Anyway, like I mentioned, sound off in the comments below. Let me know if you want to see more of these sort of stylized or monochromatic beauty looks. Leave a comment down below or a suggestion. And that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.